Hi, my name is V, and in this video, we are going to talk about Civi CRM. Now, a quick look at uh, what we're, what we're going to talk about is what is Civi, what exactly does it do, and then I'm going to show the Civi menu and kind of go into uh, further detail of each tab of the menu, and that way you'll get an idea of its functionality. And we're going to take a quick look at the community behind Civi and then a quick summary of everything that we just went over. So let's get started. Civi is a web-based open source software which was released in 2005 and it's mainly used for nonprofits. And since Civi knows that it's mainly used for nonprofits, um, they know it's more, uh, more than just collecting and tracking data and information. They know that these organizations want to build a strong relationship with their constituents. So Civi is highly customizable. So each organization can personalize it to their needs and what their organization um, wants. Civi is basically an enhanced address book since it does collect and track all the contacts information. Um, and it stores it all in one place. It's organized so you don't have to worry about it being all over the place. And Civi is an extension to these CMSs, which are content management systems. Um, they can be used in Drupal, Joom Joomla, and just recently WordPress was added to the list. So those are the three CMSs that Civi can be used on. So what does Civi do? Here is what the Civi menu looks like. We're gonna, I'm gonna get into each uh, tab in further detail in a second, but. You can see there's many functionalities, and if you look in the far left, the uh, search box, you can type in an email or someone's last name or first name, and it'll bring it'll show up a drop-down menu, and you can select that individual if you want to do like a quick search. And this is what a individual's profile looks like, a contact summary profile looks like. As you can see, that we're right now we're on the summary tab. So just basic information about the individual, their email, address, birthday, uh, age, and anything else. And there's different tabs at the top, which the menu right here, if you add a new contribution or new membership, it's going to automatically fill in those tabs for that individual. And this is a fake individual, by the way, so that's a fake email and fake address. And you can see the constituent information right there. Um, like I said, how Civi is highly customizable. This constituent information section was not originally there um, in the beginning, default Civi. So you can create, add custom fields and put it in a profile and add it to an individual's uh, profile so you're able to get extra information. If you want to know about you know, a person's special skills that they have um, and anything else. So when I, when I mentioned contact profile, this is what I mean and now you have an idea of what it looks like. So we're going to get into the, the Civi menu tabs at the top. The first one is the search. Uh, Civi has a pretty powerful search. You can do a regular search like I mentioned how you can put in the email their name and do a quick search and you can filter by their organization or household or groups that they're in. Um, so there's that regular search and then there's the advanced search which I feel like I use the most because you can search just about anything in there. If you're looking for someone who lives in a certain state you can do that. If you're looking for someone whose memberships are about to expire or if um, their start date is from here to there, how much whoever contributed a certain amount so you can find a lot through the advanced search and I feel it's the most helpful one there's a lot of filters criteria that you can select from and then or you could create your own search builder if you're used to creating queries this is what um, you can use as well you can do if contact ID equals 10 it'll bring back the results of whoever who's ever whoever's ID is 10 and you can also save those uh, searches so that if you ever need to go back to do that search, you can just select it instead of putting that in every single time. Um, and then finally, you can do a custom search as well. So uh, I 
I'm, I guarantee you that one of these searches will help you find what you're looking for. Civi does have such a, a great search uh, tool for you to use. Then uh, the next one is the contacts tab. You can see right there, you can easily and quickly create a new individual, new household, new organization. And when you're filling out that information, let's say you're starting to type John Smith as their name, Civi will bring back uh, right there on the same page results of other similar names and saying like, hey, is this the person that you meant so that you're not adding a duplicate? If it is, then you can view that person's profile and then edit it. Or if it's not, if this is a completely new individual, then you can just you know continue filling out the rest of the information. So after you've created a new contact, that's when the contact profile is created. You can manage the contact, add them to a group, add tags, you know, see any activities, you know, whether they've signed up for a membership, whether or not they've made a contribution or paid for their membership. You can manage all of that information about the contact. Now, if you recently installed Civi into your CMS, you can import that data into Civi rather than creating a new individual one by one especially if you have a lot of data, it would be useful to import it as long as it's a CSV file. If you want um, more information about that, I made a quick video on importing that data. You can just click in the top right hand corner and I'll also put it in the description below. And so next is the contributions tab. You can add a new contribution to them, whether it's a donation, member, dues for a membership or you can create a new contribution page where it could be a membership payment and renewal page where they go there they type in their information and put select which membership they want or how much they want to donate or contribute and once they fill out that contribution page that will automatically fill their contribution tab and memberships tab in their contact profile and if you have a complex complex price levels you can create a price set for that which is uh, really helpful you have different levels and um, you just create a new price set but if it's fairly simple like one level one membership and you can just put that in in the contribution page uh, settings that's how you can keep track of uh, con contributions and add them the next tab is the events tab which it's fairly easy to create an event the there's a step-by-step -step process that they go to like step one fill out this information and then you click next you fill out step two's information so it goes step by step and once you create that event you can send out a mailing which i'm going to explain in the next video i mean in the next tab right there but you create an event send out a mailing to let people know about it so that people can view the event and register for the event and you know, after you create your event, you can view, manage the participants and the attendees. You can see who's going to attend that event. And there's also the option of online registration. And Civi allows different payment processors so people can pay for the event via PayPal, by check, or by credit card, depending on what you want to use. And um, similar to the contribution, you can create price sets if you which is really helpful because if you have different um, ticket fees and you also have maybe a lunch option if they want to select their lunch and how much the lunch is or different activities going on. Maybe there's golfing, maybe there's um, roller coaster activity or just different events and different prices. You can create a price set for that. Or otherwise, if it's just like one ticket fee of $10, then that's easy to add in the step-by-step. Uh, -step. Once somebody registers for an event, it'll fill up in their events tab in their contact profile. So next is the mailing. So you can send out mass mailings. It's really customizable and it's pretty easy as well. There's also, similar to the events, there's also the step-by-step -step guide of what to put in for each, every time you create a new mailing. And it's customizable because you can add, you know, change the f header and the footer. In the header, you could put a logo. In the footer, there's the unsubscribe option, but you can also add other information in it. And uh, when when you send out a mailing, you can also track replies and click-throughs. You know, how many people 
uh, clicked on this email, how many people clicked on the links in the email, how many emails bounced back and didn't send. So you can view all that in the mailing report. And there's also a video about mailings as well to create a simple mailing. The link will also be in the top right hand corner. And there's the uh, memberships tab where you can keep track of the membership, add new memberships. Uh, you can have different types of membership, whether it's like regular, honorary, lifetime memberships, and so on. And it's just easier to keep track. You know, if you do add a new membership for a contact, you, that will fill in the fill the contacts profile memberships tab. And finally, reports. You can see right there, there is already some default reports. But if you don't want to use any of that, you can create a new report yourself. Um, by selecting different criteria. And then just I want to quickly go over the administer. That's how you customize Civi. That's where you can add um, new custom fields or new profiles and change certain things in there. Like I showed you in the contact profile, the constituent information on the bottom that was created via administer if you want to, because that's where you go to create a new field. That's what the Civi menu looks like and the functionality of each tab. Now we're going to talk about the community behind Civi. There is this great forum. I think it's forum.civicrm.org. You can, if you have any problems or issues, you can put, make a post in there. Someone will answer your questions, any questions that you have fairly quickly and uh, help you fix any issues that you may have. And every now and then there'll be a Civi CRM meetup. You can check your city, what city you live in, and um, see if there is a meetup where people just go talk, chat about Civi. If you're a new user or if you've been using Civi for a while, uh, you can give pointers to people who are new to it. You can ask questions. Civi meetups are great for that. And then there's also larger ones where it's a conference which is held once a year, I believe, where there's speakers, presenters, just like a large group of people talking about Civi. So that's the community. And a quick summary of what just went over, Civi, you know, is great for building strong relationships with your constituents. It's great for managing and managing your contacts in order to build that strong relationship and you can keep track of things by creating reports, viewing reports, seeing you know how many, how much was contributed this month, and how many memberships have, how many people signed up for memberships, and so on. You can do a quick search. The search is great tool if you need to find something quick, and just a great community overall. Um, with conferences, meetups, the forums, great. You can have your questions answered fairly quickly. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below or you can email me and you can check out any of the videos in the top right hand corner. There, there will be also links in the description below. And thank you for watching.